I'm a little bookworms, so today we're reading The Dinosaur That Pooped, A Princess. Once upon a time, Danny was riding his dinosaur steed in search of a princess who longed to be freed, but soon they were lost in a fairy tale land. So they asked for directions from the gingerbread man. Gingerbread man, oh gingerbread man, show us the way we should go if you can. Gingerbread man scratched his gingerbread head. He thought for a moment, then suddenly said, I cannot remember, my brain's made of dough. But go ask the three little pigs, they might know. Then as they set off down the yellow brick track, Dinosaur ate up their gingerbread snack. They soon came across the three little pigs, rebuilding their houses of bricks, straw and twigs. Three little pigs, oh three little pigs, Princess needs help, do you know where she is? Three little pigs made a little pig huddle, but they couldn't agree, they were all in a muddle. She's this way, she's that way, she's down there, they said. Why don't you go and ask Prince Charming instead? But while Danny, Danny worked out which road should be taken, the pig smelled like bacon, so Dinosaur ate them. They soon found the prince at the Grand Palace Ball. He made everyone laugh, charmed the pants off them all. Prince Charming, oh Prince Charming, sir, the princess needs help and we can't find her. He gazed in the mirror that hung in the wall. Then the prince swooshed his hair and announced to them all. The path to the princess tower is scary and if you go forth, You'll need new underwear. He wrote down the way they should go on a scroll before dinosaur swallowed that Prince Charming hole. The Prince Charming's direction, they started their quest past the troll on the bridge and the rotten orc's nest. Tiptoed past the dragon asleep on its gold. Fooled the witch, easy peasy, she was all kinds of old. Tamed the wolf in the woods, swam the sea of quicksand, climbed the beanstalk and high-fived the giant's huge hand. But Danny was so focused on saving his maiden. How was he to know that his noble steed ate them? There it is, there it is, Danny called to his steed. It shan't be long now till the princess is freed. Oh princess, oh princess, please let down your hair. We've come here to save you, but we can't find the stairs. Danny shouted and called. There came no reply. So he sat on the ground and started to cry. Just then an idea pinged in the dinosaur's head. Perhaps they could fly up the tower instead. With fairy tale creatures deep in, down in his gut, its brain made a wish involving its butt. It knew there was only one thing it could do. To save the princess, it needed to... Who? Like a giant poo fountain, they shot up the tower, giving fairy tale land a smelly poo shower. It pooped orcs and trolls all over the place, and the prince still looked charming with poo on his face. Dino bomb huffed and guffed as it pooped out the pigs, blowing down their new houses of brick straw and twigs. The giant, the wolf, and the sea of quicksand, the dragon is gold, and the gingerbread man. They flew higher and higher with poop-powered thrust and the poop was all sparkly like brown pixie dust. They crashed through the roof into the, a mighty poo mess. Then out of the dust came one angry princess. My bedroom, it used to be pretty and blue. Now it's all gooey and dripping with poo. I didn't need saving, my home is this tower. Now I'll put this mess right with my princess girl power. She swished her wand, she clicked her heels too, and then she sang, Bibbidi, Bobbidi, Poo! Loads of magic appeared from the wand in her hand. And the poop disappeared from the fairy tale land. We're sorry, said Danny, from the way we've behaved. Now we know not all princesses need to be saved. The story is over, the sun is descending. But wait, there's a twist to this fairy tale ending. Because Dino had nothing better to do, it swallowed that princess and pooped her out too. The end.